Hello from Brisbane Airport, where today we'll be flying with Qantas Link on the E190 down to Adelaide. We've just arrived off a connecting flight, so we're already airside, so that way we can head straight over to the Qantas Club. The Qantas Club here is quite large and has quite a large variety of seating as well. In terms of food, there was a wide variety of things on offer, with the selection being different and more inspiring than what I'm used to in the Melbourne and Sydney lounges. But I only had a short layover here in Brisbane, so there wasn't much time to enjoy the lounge. So now let's head over to our gate and find the plane that will be taking us down to Adelaide. And here's our ride for the next two or so hours, a 16 year old E190 painted in Qantas Link colours. Boarding commenced on time and with the relatively small number of passengers that these planes hold was completed quite quickly. I'd managed to score seat 4F which was in the first row of economy here on the E190. Soon enough though, the doors closed and we pushed back on our way to Adelaide. Straight after takeoff, we were served our food for this flight, and being seated in row 4 meant we were served very quickly. Today we were all served a sandwich, well probably what's half a sandwich because it was quite small, as well as a choice of drinks. Now let's take a look around the seat. Being seated in the first row of economy means we have a solid bulkhead in front, which means knee room is quite good, however foot space is a bit restrictive. There's also a small seat pocket attached to the bulkhead in front, although some, like this one next to me, appear to be quite broken. The tray table for my seat is stored in the armrest and is deployed like so. It is quite adjustable though, as it can be moved back and forth and folded in half.
There are thankfully air vents and reading lights above, and the seat is made of a nice comfortable leather, although the headrest isn't as adjustable as others. One downside of the seat is that bags can't be stored here for takeoff or landing, although once you're in the air there is plenty of room to keep the bags at your feet. Despite being a regional jet, the cabins on these E190s do actually feel quite spacious, which is probably helped by how large the windows are. One thing I did notice about this plane was that it wasn't particularly clean, with there being a mix of old permanent stains and marks, as well as general rubbish which hadn't been cleaned up. There was also this interesting view above my seat, which seemed to show the interior side panel separating from the rest of the fuselage. There was also one toilet at the back of the plane for economy passengers, and although it wasn't very large and the sink was a bit murky, it was kept relatively clean for the whole flight. After about two hours of cruising, we started our descent into Adelaide. Overall, that was a reasonable flight with Qantas Link. The seats are pretty good by Qantas standards, and although I would have expected a little more service-wise for what is nearly a two and a half hour flight, what we were offered was more than adequate. 